Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done a 4chan thing in a while, and uh, 4chan is one of the greatest places ever. If you missed out on the birthday of one of the greatest minds of the internet, the birthdays of the greatest hacker that has ever existed in our time, well then I guess I could say shame on you. But ladies and gentlemen, 4chan is one of those places where I've been an avid poster for a lot of my life. And, uh, you know, if you go back just like a couple years, maybe like 2015, 2016, you could probably find a photo of me on a cockpit sharing thread. I'm actually not even joking with you. I hope to God an archive doesn't exist. But you'll never find it. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna hedge my bets on that one. But uh, I'm going to kind of shift gears on this channel a little bit. Uh, I'll cover a little bit more scammy stuff. But I kind of want to go back to the 4chan, like, uh, weird threads. Kind of like the Alex from Tennessee era. Uh, just because, like, it's Halloween. And that's kind of like, you know, one of the things that I'm into. I'm kind of in a creepypasta binge, if you know what I mean. But I don't want to go into that. I kind of just want to go more into the creepy, like, internet threads and args and YouTube channels. So if you're into that, well, you might want to tune into some more ordinary gamers a little bit more we're kind of we're kind of all about that for a little bit so uh you know ladies and gentlemen we're gonna start off pretty pretty chill okay we're gonna start off small we're gonna get into uh the one thread <laughs> that scared 4chan so uh get your sonic g fuel ready code sog by the way this shit is actually really good that being said though let's get into the very <laughs> let's get into this thread huh so this is a thread all the way back from 2010. This is a vintage, vintage thread, okay? This is old. I was 10 years younger. I was a 16-year-old boy during this whole magical endeavor. Now, as you can see, this is a battle station thread. For those of you uninitiated, a battle station thread, if you're going to, like, Reddit slash battle stations or, like, r slash Unix porn, basically it'll be people sharing their computer desktop setups. And uh, it's, it's actually a good old pastime of mine, right? So, and this is a pretty common thing that happens on 4chan. Unfortunately... A lot of it just falls into trolling, which you're going to see really quickly. So this person posts their battle thread, which uh, is like two monitors and like a, a MacBook Air or like a Mac. Well, MacBook Airs weren't a thing back then, but a regular MacBook. And I think that's like a MacBook, but like the G, the G, the G5 era MacBook. So yeah, this person's uh, battle thread is a little bit old. I like the HP keyboard they got going on there. Congratulations. A bit hard to tell given the fact that I'm looking at an archive and I can't see the full uh, image, but it's only 700 by 600. 40, uh, 467 so you're not going to get too much out of it now here you got somebody going like fuck yeah with like they're uh they're, they're i'm not going to shame you battle station okay but when you're running that windows vista life we got we gonna have to have a talk okay now you also got haters gonna hate and i think this person's just got like your average battle thread i will say the desks are a whole lot messier like if this was posted on a battle station nowadays where the world favors minimalism you're you're kind of gonna get downvoted a little bit op your setup is oh nero divergent i'm hoping you at least just put the laptops there to show off and aren't attempting to justify having two laptops on your battle station which i agree i don't know why you'd have two laptops on your battle station at all i use I, I basically use three virtual machines not even joking i really don't need that many separate pieces of real hardware but congratulations now you've also got whoo whatever that one is that, that looks like a dump right there daddy i used a hp pavilion entertainment pc on my white ikea couch it's a good little laptop i only use it for tf2 i play everything else on my blank i'm gonna assume that is his phallic organ okay that's that's all i'm gonna assume from 4chan works for me perhaps you could share your obviously superior battle station to which this person says you're all just a bunch of casuals where they show themselves in like a master control room congrats dude you got a job at a tv station uh before any of you gamer words ask the retro consoles are kept on a shelf thing under the tv my pc gaming rig is on the other side of the room so where they show like their average like pc gamer rig which uh it's <laughs> It's not a battle station, but congrats, dog. And then you got, whoo, I'm going to tell you something. Now, and then you've got. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's not very poggish. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you look back a week for my uploads, you'll probably find out that I actually covered a weird channel that was all about making fursuits, the fursuit rabbit hole. If you haven't checked that video out, I highly recommend you actually go check it out. It's a pretty solid video where I go into like this person, this YouTube channel that was relatively unknown for the most part, where they actually develop like fursuits and stuff, right? Like really lifelike looking fursuits. And they made a lot of stop motion videos with them. This allegedly 
is the actual person who created those dolls speaking in the thread, basically like uh, fucking advertising themselves. And this scared the thread. So we're going to read the fear of 4chan as we go further down this rabbit hole. Now, you got these Eddie Murphy reaction pictures, which, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fair reaction to have given what you see. What? And then, uh, I don't know what that is, but they're trying to, like, showcase the center of the earth or something. You've got Mr. Burns going, what the fuck? And then you've got my boy from the office going, dude, come on, no, no, no! <laughs> Post more, please. And then, uh, and, and then it's like, I can't stop staring at it. I think I, I think it wrinkled my brain thread fucking derailed, man. That's, that's true. But it only, it only derails further. Now he responds to the person asking for more pictures with here you go, sir. To which we get this photo, which is a much more, uh, upfront photo of the battle station. And, uh, I forget what her name is. I think it's like Kasumi Ninja or something like that. And it's, for the most part, I'm going to rate this, at least for 2010, a pretty decent battle station. I mean, he's got, like, the Ethernet connectivity, meaning that he's ready to be a full-on gamer. He ain't dealing with that Wi-Fi nonsense. Congratulations. But, uh, then you go further down, and it's just more like reaction images, right? And it's like, no, it's the ghetto-ass sound system. I assume he's talking about, like, what we're seeing over here, which, yeah, I gotta say that is a little ghetto, but it is what it is. Dude, that is a that is not a love seat a love seat would be reasonable that's a porch swing of some kind which it is a porch swing of some kind i don't know why you would have that on your game that's really not the gamer chair you want but hey live life your own way right oh man please t let this be a joke <laughs> i've seen it already i've seen it already one piece boy it ain't it ain't no joke i can't stop laughing somebody help and then a boy responds with, well, the teddy bear is called Samantha, and she is part of my family. I made her myself. I used the left seat because sometimes I like to move my desk out of the way and change my room into various fantasy themes. This is Samantha's younger sister, Stacy. And so this is uh, Stacy, and they're going out for a drive. And I almost thought that that was like a cum stain on the window. I'm not kidding with you. That is, in fact... A lovely like behind section of I think like She-Ra or whatever the fuck it is. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's uh, it's in intriguing enough. We find out that these fursuits actually have family, which which is great. I like to know the lore, the hidden deep meaning behind all of it. You know the fucking the Matt Pat FNAF theory level shit behind my fur fur dolls. Thank you. Good lord, man. Just date a ha ha. Just date a blank girl. They're hairy and alive well I'll, I'll definitely say compared to the fur dolls they're alive for sure that is a scientific fact fur dolls do not go through metabolic processes now of course you've also got more reaction photos which i almost swear this one scares me the most and then guess what more you got this is where we hang out and play console games smiley face i'm not kidding with you you thought there was just like one doll you thought there was two dolls Bro, there's like seven dolls, okay? There's like seven dolls, okay? There's a lot. There's a whole family. The dolls come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them are petite dolls. Some of them are nice, thick, curvy, juicy dolls. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. I feel a little dirty inside. Now, you've also got what appears to be like demonically possessed dolls at the bottom. I'm not so sure about that. I also don't get what this fucking chain rope is doing in the middle of the room. Kind of scary. But what drives me insane about this whole thing is this photo is crooked compared to this photo, and my OCD is flaring up so fucking bad right now, there's no way for me to explain it to you. So we're gonna go forward. Dollfucker is standing near your window. <laughs> now you also get, she loves to have guests, but we never want them to leave. We don't let them. <laughs> I actually don't believe this is the person who made the doll. I think this is, this is some great trolling attempt, uh, but it worked. But here you get the, uh, you get the, ooh, the fursuit. Ugh. Ooh, ooh. I gotta say, that is a very creepy face to see. If I woke up at like two in the morning browsing threads and I saw this, yeah, I'd be a little, I'd be a little freaked out. What's also interesting to note is there's like a lot of like adult like movie cutouts. I want to say like there's like I have to censor this right now because I'm actually looking at like a, a, I think it's like a triple X movie poster like right here, and there's also like a Playboy bunny that's wearing lingerie up here too. So it gets more degenerate as time goes on. Okay, like we are we are entering some some territories where a church going on Sunday seems like a logical solution. I'm pretty sure this is what furry guy looks like IRL. 
to which he shares this person who I don't remember. Photo in the background. Yeah, there is a photo in the background of straight prawn. Well, what we're about to see, ladies and gentlemen, is so scary that I really don't know how to describe it. So brace yourselves, because what we're about to enter is some really spooky shit. I am glad you are interested in my creation. Soon everybody will be able to purchase them through my website. We saw the website. Although there may be some delay, as they are all handmade. <laughs> What would I tell you that was going to be so scary? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, we appear to have, I think, like, that's like a lowly doll or something. And this, this, uh, this, this is, this, this, I, I'm confirming is an actual doll. Okay, like, this is a lifelike doll. There's no nudity here by any chance, but this, I'm going to confirm, is a lifelike doll. And it's shaped so well that, again, if I was to have three beers, I might actually fall for it. But, yeah, this is... This is, uh, the, the, we're, we're getting into territory that I really didn't want to, ladies and gentlemen. There's no explanation. This thread has already been derailed, and I think we're about to look at some criminal charge going on soon. What's going on in this battle station thread? <laughs> Me too, buddy. I'm wondering the same thing. Now, this is the last post by our, uh, by our thread, uh, hijacker. Well, I never fucked them. I made them, and as such, I am their god and can instill my will upon them. Woo! That's a little weird, champ. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> I have a wife and children who also enjoy our time in the fantasy room. But it is nothing bad or wrong. You feel that? You feel that tinge in the back of your neck? Yeah, that's called a conscience. Congrats, you have one. To which they posted an image involving, like, children and, like, a wife who looks really... Oh man, dude, he's got like a Paps blue ribbon and he's holding his his like doll girlfriend with him. I'm you know, this is a censored photo. Like I'm not going to share this with you cuz it involves children and I have like that rule. But I'm just going to describe it with you. My homie is holding one of his like dolls with a Paps blue ribbon. Figure it out. Wife wife looks a little scared. I'm going to be real with you. But uh yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it's weird. I don't care if you leave the insanity in it. What's there and what's present is enough to get you onto a registry, ladies and gentlemen. So congrats. We are now on a federal registry looking at these weird-ass dolls. I'm sure we saw a lowly doll at some point, so I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about any of this. But it's so crazy how the things that I look at one week and then I look at them again the other week and I get, like, a whole new set of, like, you know, fucking optics to look at them with. And it just changes my perception entirely. But this is a nice start off into the 4chan month or the 4chan era of my channel again so again you know ladies and gentlemen if you enjoy this kind of content feel free to show up again you know subscribe for it i might make a minecraft video tomorrow i'm not sure dude it depends on what kind of strain of of, of the good kush that i ingest inside me but that being said though this has been the thread that scared 4chan so ladies and gentlemen you know you thought about it in the comment section below were you sufficiently scared were you creeped out i bet you were but this is me muda and i am out